Yo, happy new years to all y'all out there. You know what I'm saying? I was hoping that I could have woke up, you know what I'm saying, to some barbecue or some shit like that on New Year's, but that ain't happen like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm on my way back to the crib. The nigga ain't matching, you know what I'm saying? Mom had to bring me a jacket of jail. Nigga, I just got out of jail, my nigga. Like, jail, jail. You feel me? I'm gonna tell you why. New Year's Eve. I ain't had shit going on. All the people that I had some shit planned, planned to go do some shit with, they had planned, right? Crazy, right? But one of my niggas hit me up from A me. Like, hey, come smoke with me. Alright, cool. I hop in a car. Go get go get two grams real quick, you know what I'm saying? So we about to goddamn chill, smoke, you know what I'm saying, watch the fireworks and all that good shit, you know what I'm saying? Typical New Year type shit, you know what I'm saying? For most motherfuckers, you know. I don't really smoke like that. Let me just put that out there. You know what I'm saying? I don't really smoke like that. So I'm driving. I'm on my way to AP. I finally get there. I text him. I'm like, I'm outside, right? Come out the crib. Get in the car. First thing I give uh, give her was the two grams and a whole box of game diamond. You know what I'm saying? Cause I just bought the motherfucking box like two weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I don't smoke like that, right? So, so she started busting that motherfucker down. Me not knowing. This motherfucker, I want to say this motherfucker put the whole goddamn two grams in that motherfucker. I don't know how the fuck she did it, but I think that's what the fuck she did. Because by the time we got to drop her ass off at work, I'm getting off the motherfucking exit. And I jerk the motherfucking wheel. She busts out laughing because she already know that I'm on that level right now. You know what I'm saying? I know I am fucked up. I couldn't drive. You know what I'm saying? But I couldn't let that motherfucker know that shit. I couldn't drive. I don't know about to tell her that shit. She already knew, but I just couldn't goddamn confirm that shit. So I drop her ass off at work. I went to goddamn the best restaurant that I go to. You know what I'm saying? Taco Bell. What did I get? I got the number six. You know what I'm saying? The two goddamn chalupas. Hard shell taco with a big ass freeze. Right? So I'm in a driveway. I made my order and shit. I'm behind a nigga in a green truck. My leg is on the brake. My shit started shaking. You know what I'm saying? It started shaking like it had a fucking problem. My heart started racing. I started sweating. My mouth got dry in a bitch. Like I had a, a fucking pillow in my shit. I ain't never been that motherfucking high. I never felt these motherfucking symptoms. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking around. You know what I'm saying? I'm fidgeting and shit. I look in the rearview mirror and I seen this woman pull up. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn. Is it going to get that bad that I'm going to have to get out? I didn't even finish thinking. I got the fuck out the car. Put it in the park. Ran back to her car, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, look, I know this shit look crazy. It is crazy. I'm about to get my food. I'm pulled to the front. Pull to the front with me when you get your shit. And keep an eye on me, make sure I ain't tripping. She said, okay, she was on the phone and shit, you know what I'm saying? So okay, cool. Ran back to my car, got in, put it in drive. By the time I put it in drive, old buddy in the green truck started to pull up because he already got order. I pull up to the goddamn window. I'm like, bro. You know what I'm saying? How, you know what I'm saying? How much? I paid for my shit. You know what I'm saying? The first thing he gave me was a freeze. I put the straw in. For, I killed that much. I got about two or three brain freezes at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Shit gone. By the time I got my food, bruh, I'm feeling better. My mouth ain't dry no more. My legs ain't shaking. My heart rate is normal. You know what I'm saying? I, I said, bruh, I feel good now. He said, huh? I said, nothing. I said, bruh, how much old girl food is? He told me, like, $7 and something, you know what I'm saying? So I said, look, here's a 10. Pay for her food. Tell her I said thank you. Give her the change. She know what that means, right? And I took the fuck off, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to go back to eat meat, you know what I'm saying? See my girl. This shit, this shit can't be happening. Nigga, I already got one of the chalupas out of the bag. It's in my lap. I'm trying to eat that motherfucker. Ain't even bit the bitch yet. The shit hit me again. I pulled over to the shoulder of the highway. In between Tickfall and Amy. I'm almost to my motherfucking destination. Put the car in park. Put the flashes on. I called my daddy. I shouldn't have called his ass. I shouldn't have called his ass. I asked him, man. I didn't smoke weed before. He told me what the fuck going on or whatever. That shit that he got then went through is not what the shit that I'm going through. So I know it was a completely different shit. Got on the phone with his ass. I called the motherfucking paramedics. 
The motherfuckers came out there, bro. 30 minutes later. I'm waiting for the motherfuckers to get there. The weed told me, nigga, jump out the goddamn car into that damn traffic. I'm like, what kind of rude ass shit did this nigga just sell me? The weed saying shit like that? What kind of shit is in this motherfucker? What kind of dope you put in this bitch? I don't smoke like that, so I'm thinking like, damn. What kind of goddamn weed is this? Bruh. I'm really fucked up. Paramedics finally got there. They get me out the car, ask me questions and shit. I wasn't trying to answer them bitches. I wanted to go home and go to sleep. The police got there. Did the goddamn field sobriety test shit. You know what I'm saying? I can't do I can't do the shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause my knees, you know what I'm saying? Like I got I had surgery on both of my shits. I can't do that shit. I got paperwork in the car to prove the shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I'm super good with that shit. You know what I'm saying? No problem. You know what I'm saying? They had a wreck right there. Right when I was goddamn doing the fucking the shit, the field shit, you know what I'm saying? With the police or whatever, they had a wreck right fucking up. I'm like, damn, this final just say shit. So I tried to run. Them niggas thought I was trying to get away. I ran toward the bushes, away from the traffic. Police got me by the wrong wrist. The big goddamn paramedic dude, he got me by the other wrist. I'm pulling them big bitches. Nigga. I calmed down. I said, you know what? Cool. It's a wreck. You know what I'm saying? Normal shit. All right, cool. Told me to sit on the ground. He went over there, got the information or whatever, so he put me in the car. In the back of his goddamn truck, he gonna say, he gonna ask me, do I got anybody that gonna goddamn come get my car? I said, yeah, I can call my girl real quick. She'll come, she'll come get my whip. He called her three times, no answer. She ain't answer. She started calling back. I said, sir, she's calling back. This nigga gonna reach over the sun visor and forward the fucking, forward the fucking phone call. So now you about to let, you about to let goddamn my car get re, uh, got, uh, impounded and shit because you don't want to answer the motherfucking phone? What kind of shit is that? Racist shit. Anyway, moving on. I get to jail. Took 17 hours for me to goddamn get booked in, post bail, and get the fuck out. The next day at 8 o'clock. Today! Today! 8 o'clock. I finally get out. They cut my phone off finally. You know what I'm saying? Uh... I had a little juice on my shit. Call my girl, she came scoop me up, you know what I'm saying, with the quickness, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. I ain't know who the goddamn hell had my car. I ain't no I ain't had no idea who had my car. So I had I called the sheriff department, told them that my car was stolen. They put it in the goddamn system, they told me they found out what my car was. The motherfucker stole my shit. Took it to the impound lot. So I got to the goddamn impound lot. See my car. Paid to get my shit out. Cool, no problem. Swipe the card. I got to the car thinking that I'm about to get my goddamn, uh, my Taco Bell. Cause you know, Taco Bell, that shit lasts for like two days. You know what I'm saying? But not eating that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking I'm about to get something to eat. I got to the car. I see cheese residue on my motherfucking seat and a balled up napkin in my AC vent. You know what I'm saying? Nigga. See, that's a, ta that's a Taco Bell receipt right here. You know what I'm saying? That, sh that shit was gag. And he had that shit right there. I threw the goddamn napkin out. Bro. I don't know if y'all seen that shit. You feel me? The nigga done ate my motherfucking Taco Bell, bro. Nigga ate my shit. I want my goddamn $7.62 back. My nigga. I want my shit back. That was some hoe ass shit.